The Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter are both very beloved properties that have made boatloads of money in the past, and while I would be okay with brand new content coming out for these properties, unfortunately, I don't really trust the creatives in Hollywood right now or the higher-ups at Warner Brothers to make the hiring decisions necessary in order to continue these amazing pieces of work, but it's no surprise to hear David Zaslav, of course, wants to monetize them much more than they already have, and now he's saying that they're underutilized, and in the next few years, that is going to drastically change. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this Bounding Into Comics article. David Zaslav reiterates his plan to focus on big franchises like DC, Harry Potter, and The Lord of the Rings, and says that they have been underused. Now, I absolutely love Harry Potter, I absolutely love The Lord of the Rings, and I used to really like DC, but unfortunately, DC has not been going very well. They've just thrown away a lot of the fan-favorite actors and characters, and they continue are doing reboots, and they just need to calm down. They need to take a little bit of time, really hone in on what they want to create, and stop rebooting every few years. But when it comes to Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings, things have been a little bit different, right? Because we know that there's a few upcoming projects for these, but they are so amazing. They are so beloved. They have so many millions of fans around the world that it is very easy to get in over your head, to make all of these big plans, and then disappoint. It's very easy to disappoint people. And to hear him say something like they've been underused is so worrying. It's such a major red flag because that means going forward they have some major plans to make money from these franchises, which is very, very worrying. Um, but we already know a few projects. Warner Brothers is coming out with the Lord of the Rings animated film, War of the Rohirrim in 2024, and they've got the new Harry Potter series releasing exclusively on HBO Max, most likely early 2025. Plus, they did originally have plans to do one more Fantastic Beasts movie. We don't really know much about that at this point since the last one didn't do all that well, um, but they still are creating a bunch of projects surrounding these franchises, but that means that they want to continue to kick it up a notch. It says, according to the rap, Zaslav appeared at the Goldman Sachs uh, Comucopia and Technology Conference where he declared, one of the other real strengths of Warner Brothers is we talk about the great IP that Warner Bros. owns. While he notes that they have strong franchises, he went on to explain that the company has failed to properly use them. But for us, the challenge is that our content, our great IP, Harry Potter, DC, Lord of the Rings, that content has been underused. I completely disagree agree when it comes to DC. They are constantly popping out DC content, and I just don't, I don't think that it's been going all that well for them. When it comes to Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, I, of course, would love to see more Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings content, but unfortunately, I don't have any faith in them. I mean, Zaslav is clearly going back to the well here. He's looking to make bank on existing products that have been so successful, and that means that they are going to pump out the maximum amount of content with these possible. And unfortunately, I just don't have a lot of faith in them. Look at all the new updates to franchises that we've seen just over the past few years. They almost always fail because they take these properties and add in modern ideological politics and narratives, ruining the beloved content when they should realistically just leave these things alone. They could hire good writers, create new properties, and be done. And of course, if they're going to return to these pieces of content, then they need to to respect the source material and stay in canons, not destroy them like Rings of Power or Wheel of Time has done. I mean, just look at the awful updates to beloved franchises over the past you know, two years. We have the Wheel of Time, which is not the worst audience score, but I have seen some very big Wheel of Time fans absolutely dig into the series and say that it is abysmal, and I know that season two is currently releasing and people are not very happy with it. 
but it's at a 72 average audience. Then we have The Rings of Power, which of course critics absolutely loved and audiences hated a 38% for a series that cost them for one season over $500,000. And in totality, they've spent over a billion dollars on Rings of Power season one going into season two. And we don't know when season two exactly will release, but we do know that at this point it is done filming. And then we have something like Willow, very same vein. This is uh, of course, Disney, but a 65% average audience. And this did so poorly for them, they canceled it. They were originally planning to do uh, a season two, and they actually had to cancel it because it did so bad. And to top that off, they also pulled it from Disney Plus because they didn't want to continue to pay for it. That is absolutely hilarious, but also pathetic. Going back to the original article, though, it says specifically Zaslav referenced that they have let Superman rot, not giving the character his own film since Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. The problem that they face now with going back to, you know, these classic DC characters like Superman is that we know that James Gunn is going to be creating his own Superman movie, but it, I don't think that it's going to go over that well. I think that people are extremely upset that they threw away Henry Cavill. And of course, with that, you know, Ben Affleck as Batman. And we don't know what they're doing with Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman anymore. But you had an amazing Superman. And yes, you did let him rot. You didn't do anything with him. And then you tried to bring him back. And then you decided to throw those plans away with the snap of your fingers. And that has infuriated people and i don't think that a new superman uh, anytime soon is gonna go over well because people are salty that they threw cavill away but he says we think that there's a lot of shareholder value in attaching a 10-year dc a real plan around dc bringing harry potter back to hbo for 10 consecutive years doing multiple movies of lord of the rings he highlighted that he thinks that this is going to be a very big uh, successful plan and hey i think that if they can do it properly yeah it could be extremely successful but i do worry about them you know going into this just looking at the dollar signs. What I would hope is that what we would get is not heavily dependent on new properties or going back to old properties, but a mix. We get some good new storytellers and new shows and movies based on these older properties that stay in canon, while also being different enough that it's not just reusing the one same storyline over and over and over and over and making endless pieces of content surrounding it. I just want them to concentrate on making good, well-written stories, and I just don't have a lot of faith in current-day Hollywood, in these writers, in these creatives, in actors as well that just don't care if we completely disrespect source material as long as they're getting a big, fat paycheck. They don't care if something is modernized to hell and back and it ruins what made it so beloved in the first place. And while this is, you know, exciting on a certain level because I like a lot of the DC characters. I like Harry Potter. I like Lord of the Rings. It's also extremely worrying. There's a lot of red flags to take from this article. Only time will tell. It's probably going to be a few years before we actually start seeing a lot of content being pumped out, but the next piece of content is War of the Rohirrim 2024. I want that to be good, but only time will tell. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative make sure to give it a like share it and subscribe to the channel and of course if you didn't make sure to give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video really soon